My colleagues and I would like to share with you today some of the rare cell technologies that CELSI has been developing. I will start with a brief introduction on the CELSI CTC technology and tell you a little bit about our capabilities for CTC enumeration as well as molecular characterization. And then I'll turn to my colleagues to walk you through some of the great examples on the application of the technology. Our core technology is built upon manufacture of a microfluid chip, which has the exactly same dimensions as a glass slide. The principle of CTC capturing using our technology is based on size and deformability of a cell. The microfluid chip has more than 56,000 of individual trapping wells connected to the inlet and the outlet channels. At the bottom of each of the trapping well, there's a hole of 8 micron in size that allows blood cells to flow through by traps circulating tumor cells. In addition to size filtration, fixation of cells as well as flow rate of the blood sample are also key to the cell C technology where we have optimized these conditions. The cell enrichment process starts with a tube of 4 to 8 ml of whole blood. There's no need for pre-centrifugation or lysis of red blood cells with cell C technology. In addition, our capturing process is labeling free. The CTC identification is based on post-capturing differential staining with antibodies. Using this technology, we have developed an automated CTC preparation instrument called Cell C Prep 400. As you can see on this slide, Cell C Prep 400 has four modules. Each has a prepackaged reagent cartridge, allowing four blood samples to be processed simultaneously. The cell capturing process takes about two and a half hours. When the microfluid chips are prepared, they're transferred to the second piece of instrument called cell C analyzer, which scans the whole slide. It is a full integrated system from sample to report with very minimum hands-on time. As to CTC identification, we extended the same definition of CTCs as a predicate device cell search. For a cell to be qualified as a CTC, it requires a positive staining for pancytokeratin as well as nuclear DABI. It also requires the cell to be CD45 stain negative. In CTC counts, we include not only single cells, but also doublets, triplets, and cell clusters. To test the performance of a CTC technology, we first looked at capture efficiency by the microfluid chip, as well as the reproducibility of the capturing process. This slide shows the results of using spiking cancer cells in normal donor blood. From this experiment, we have observed about 85% of capture efficiency with a CV less than 7%. As you can see here, this experiment has done with multiple cancer cell lines, and the results were published a few years ago. Next, we have tested several hundreds of the clinical blood samples from patients with metastatic diseases. This slide shows an example of CTC counts from about 130 samples from patients with metastatic prostate cancer, breast cancer, and colorectal cancer. In addition, we also tested about 200 normal donor samples as control to demonstrate the 100% specificity of the capturing process. This result was also published in PLOS One in 2016. Now, one of the major advantages that cell C CTC system offers is to go beyond cell enumeration and provide capabilities on molecular characterization of CTCs. On this slide, 
the top panel shows some of the on-chip analysis. Because we're using a microfluid slide that are similar to a glass slide, analysis such as immunocytochemistry, DNA and mRNA fish can be readily done on the chip. In addition, we also have developed a protocol that allows the retrieval of the capture cells from the microfluid slide. And this shows on the bottom of the slide, this protocol enables both PCR and sequencing of the nucleic acid derived from the retrieved circulating tumor cells. 